Well, good morning, it's John Neal here. It's uh, Saturday, the 30th of September, 2023, and I am at Door Mill Colliery. Well, as was. Uh, there's quite a story to Door Mill actually. Um, it was a very big pit here in North Warwickshire and it closed in 2014, which is roughly 10 years ago. Um, and there's a whole number of principles and ideas about uh, coal, use of coal, and the danger of digging out as well. And this was one of the biggest pits in the whole country. This entrance is quite interesting because there's a double-sided entrance, look, that's way in and out. And you can see the remnants, you can see the remnants of some uh, decoration and flower beds and things here. It must have been quite an interesting uh, entrance back in the day. So it's quite an important place and now it's completely empty. So it looks like I'm doing a, a sort of tour of the, uh, the old coal mines around North Warwickshire, which is interesting for me because I didn't know everything about them at all. I knew there were some around, um, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to see what's here and, and the history of what they were about and the many men, and it was mostly men, who worked so hard to get the coal out and drive the industry in this country. And now, no, we're not using coal anymore. And probably a good thing too. Let's take to the sky and see what we can see. And I think the first thing you notice is that all the buildings are completely gone. All we have are these mysterious foundation blocks of concrete and tarmac to show where the buildings once were. But in its heyday, it was a very busy place. Just look at this. I suppose I could try and match up these features on the ground with these buildings and the photographs of them from when it was in its heyday, but I'd probably get it all wrong, so I'll just leave it as it is. On the left here, you can see the railway line, which will have served the pit to take the coal to and fro. And as you swing around, beautiful countryside really, and there's the considerable area of what was Door Mill Colliery. Okay, I'll have a crack at it. There were two shafts sunk, and I think the circular feature at the bottom here might have been the centre of one of them, and the next one was just here. But I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can tell me. Oh, I bet there are people who work there who knew it extremely well. Door Mill had the UK record for the annual output for British coal of 3.25 million tonnes in 2008. Tragically, in 2006 and 7, three men were killed in Door Mill and UK coal will find 1.2 million for safety breaches. In February 2013, a major fire broke out 500 metres below ground. It was one of the worst blazes underground in Britain for 30 years. And this was really the death knell of the pit and it closed in 2014.
Well, there you have it, my friends. That's Dormill Colliery, as was, and it has quite a history to it, as you might uh, imagine. Um, but it's amazing to see that it's just gone. That's it. Now I've moved to Ansley Village and the railway cuts right underneath this uh, junction, this roundabout, and on the top of the roundabout, in the middle, is a tribute to the miners of this area. The Ansley Village Coal Mining Heritage Wheel, a tribute to the many work miners who worked in our local coal mines. They worked underground in darkness so that we may be in warmth and light. Quite right too. And this is the, and that's a big wheel. It's one of the um, pithead wheels that they used to take the, ca the cages up and down the pits. And that's a pretty big one. Let's have a closer look. Well, there we have it, um, a monument to the miners of North Warwickshire and this area around Arley as well. And there are a number of other pits around the place. So, thank you very much for watching and you'll see me next time. It might even be another colliery, but they're all closed down. So it will be a derelict one or the site of one at least. Okay, <laughs> see you then, bye-bye.